Forrest, congrats on a big game. You guys did get the win 68 to 7. You had a pick six. Now, pick six seems to be the word everybody thinks of when seeing you. Take us through that play and what happened in that moment. Um, Coach Brown just teaches us to attack the ball. So I'm thinking the ball's up there, go attack it. Um, tried to stay in bounds. Once I stayed in bounds, I saw yellow and blue in front of me. So I just followed my teammates and took it to the end zone. Confidence, big game. You did have your first collegiate start. What was that like on the field, being on there for the first time as a college athlete? Well, it was normal because, you know, I'm used to being in, under pressure, you know, so being under pressure and going against other athletes is something I do all the time. So, you know, I had fun with it. You know, it was a great experience. Now, preparation going to Midwestern State University, a nationally ranked team. You all are moving up in the polls, moved up 36 votes. What's that like? Well, that's, that don't phase us at all. You know, that national rankings don't phase us at all. I feel like we're going to go go in there, you know, good competition. You know, they're going to come in our house. They're going to think they can beat us, but we're going to show them what's really good. Nick, big win against Simon Fraser for you all. Team coming from Canada, you did have your first career touchdown. You are a sophomore. What was that like? I feel great to, you know, just break out that first run and get my first touchdown. I didn't know how to act, so I had to calm myself down a little bit. Now you all did beat this team 68-7, to one of the biggest leads, breaking history. How does it feel to be a part of history this season? Well, uh, you know, it feels good to go out there and do that for the fans, especially the alumni there in the crowd and you know we worked really hard on that so we pride ourselves in doing that. 2-0 undefeated probably one of the best starts so far in a little while that we've had these rough seasons how do you plan to keep it up? Oh uh, well you know we plan to work hard every day in practice and um, plan to beat Midwestern and that can just build us forward to just winning away games as well. Yeah, you know what, we, we as a coaching staff aren't letting our guys have any kind of ego. You know, it, it, it's it's pretty, you know, we, we're 2-0, and but we still know where we're coming from, right? This this program hasn't hasn't done anything this year. You know, there's not any sign up on our on our uh, press box that says most consecutive uh, non-conference wins. You know, we won two non-conference games, and we got a conference game this week, and that's where the you know our, our money is earned as far as uh, what we're trying to get accomplished. We want to put number 35 up on our up on our board. Uh, Midwestern State had a bye week last week. Do you think um, that will factor into how this game will be played out? Considering you know you don't have as much time to prepare as they did. Um, Yes and no. You know, they, they certainly they had two weeks to to look at film on us, but you know, we only had one game for them to look at the one week, and so it's not like they're 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 going in and reinventing the wheel against us. They they're the same team that they've been for. You know, they've had the same coordinators on both sides of the ball for I believe eight years, and so they run the same offense, run the same defense, same stuff on special teams, and so we we know what we're expecting with them and. Um, yeah, I think if anything, it's in our favor a little bit and that they've only played one game. You know, they've only played one game where they've been going at full speed against another opponent. Uh, and you know, us having two games under our belt and having that experience, that goes in our favor definitely. Give me a blue! Blue! Give me a go! Go! What that means?